Hey guys, welcome back to Nurse Janks. In this video, I'm going to go over why I decided to get vaccinated for COVID. I'm making this video in case you guys are like me. You're young, you're healthy, you're low risk, and yet you're trying to decide whether or not getting the vaccine is something that is good for you. A little backstory here. I'm a nurse practitioner. I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I'm actually up to date with all the vaccines that are required for my age, and this is the first time that one actually gave me pause before deciding whether or not I wanted it. When I try to think of why, there's a lot of reasons, and I'm going to try to summarize them here. So one thing that I think really hurt is that this vaccine got really roped up into politics, which was just a mess. People have gotten so rabid with politics in the last couple of years that whatever one party tells them to do something, they're reflexively going to just try to do the opposite, whether or not that makes any sense at all. This is the case probably for Republicans and for Democrats. I don't think it makes much of a difference. The parties hate each other so much. People aren't even logical anymore. If one person says something, the other one's going to try to do the opposite just to say F you. <laughs> Um, pretty much. And so they're not even thinking at this point. They're just trying to do the opposite. You know, we're kind of running around like chickens with our heads cut off, trying to figure out how to work with this thing. You know, is it airborne? Is it a droplet precaution? We still don't really know. Um, you know, what's the DNA sequence of this thing? How is it transmitted? Are you going to get it from just touching stuff and touching your face? Or are you going to get it if someone coughs in your face? Like, how do we protect for this? Do we need masks? Do masks really work? You know, lots of different things going all over the place. And people are just not sure what to make of all this information, not to mention it's being broadcasted with fear constantly. And so people's brains just basically turned off. Then we had some promising treatments that turned out not to be so great, like hydroxychloroquine and remdesivir. And then we had, you know, policymakers kind of changing their minds every once in a while about what to do. And things just got really messed up. And then we have conflicting things that we're seeing, like it's okay to protest for these elections, but it's not okay to have like Thanksgiving dinner or to be in a church near people because that's too close. And there's a lot of things that are flip-flopping around and it's just not making a whole lot of sense. So in the mix of all this context is when they decided to put the vaccines out and then they're coming to me as a healthcare worker and they're saying, hey, you want to be one of the first people to get this uh, emergency use authorization shot? And I'm like, well, let's reverse a little bit. I'm a young, healthy person without comorbidities who's low risk for COVID. I think I might have already had COVID. No thanks. I think I'm going to wait and see what happens to other people first, if you don't mind. Because, like I said, some other things didn't work out. I don't exactly have the best of trust. No thanks. I'm going to wait. And at the time, I think it was the right call. Some other people would call me a moron, but hey. So as time went on, people got vaccinated. Yes, some bad things happened, but for the most part, these were pretty safe. Millions of people got them and there really weren't that many adverse reactions. Things started getting better. COVID rates started going down. Mask mandates started lifting and it seemed like COVID was really kind of going away. So people just stopped really talking about it, which was great. But then Delta came around and that kind of changed things because now they're talking about this new strain that is really contagious versus the old one. And everyone starts talking about COVID again and really hammering down the vaccines like never before. And then the people who've already gotten their vaccines are starting to get really hateful towards those who haven't gotten theirs yet. And they're really starting to call them all sorts of things like anti-vaxxers and conspiracy theorists and idiots and all this stuff. And even I'm starting to get all, all this hate. Um, and just for stuff that was initially skeptical, mind you guys, we're still not even at the point where we have a full FDA approved vaccine yet. But then mandates started rolling out that were affecting entire states and certain areas as far as healthcare workers went as far as having to have their vaccines in order to continue employment in these areas. So I wanted to combine everything into a decision-making process for myself. So first, I decided to get antibody testing just to see if I had antibodies from a previous infection. Unfortunately, my antibodies came back negative, so I knew that I did not have good protection against COVID. I knew this Delta strain was extremely infectious, so I knew there's probably a great chance I'm going to get it at some point if I don't get the vaccine. Or even if I get the vaccine, I'm probably still going to get it, but at least I'll have good protection against it, hopefully. I know that some of these vaccines don't work perfectly against the Delta strain because they weren't meant for that one. They were made for the original one, so this one kind of gets around it a little bit but it's gonna give you some protection for it, probably better than nothing. And the fact that so many millions of Americans have already gotten these shots now without that many adverse reactions told me they're pretty safe. Not to mention the full FDA approval is probably just around the corner. And it turned out it was. And it also turned out that the mandate was coming for me really soon after I decided to voluntarily get my first shot. So literally the day after I got my first shot, I got the email from my company that said, hey, you guys are gonna have 60 days from the time that the first vaccine is fully FDA approved to get your vaccine or you can't work with us anymore. And so I don't really like that, but at the same time, I see that that's probably the way things are trending for all healthcare workers at this point. Um, whether or not it makes great sense, I don't really know because we don't do that with other vaccines, but we do that with some other stuff like TB. I don't know. It's kind of a bit of a gray area. And of course, I'm a libertarian, so I don't like the forceful nature of mandates and things like that in general. But I'm trying to kind of, you know, get in the right headspace that like, you know, with some things, maybe it's necessary, but then there's also that slippery slope argument. I don't know. It gets a little complicated, but I'm just trying to say, look, with the information that's coming to me, Here's what it really boils down to. COVID exists in this world now, right? And you're probably going to get it at some point, especially now with the Delta strain. This is so contagious, you can't avoid it. If you're living on Earth, you're going to get COVID. So do you want to get a vaccine that's probably going to make you sick, probably after the second dose, for maybe a day or two, and you're going to feel like crap? Or do you want to roll the dice with real COVID and not have that shot first, 
you know, no prep to it and just go in and hope you're going to be lucky and have a mild to asymptomatic case. But still, you guys can be pretty sick for a while. And then you never even know, you might be really unlucky and die. And especially if you're a high risk person, this video is probably not for you. This video is for younger people like myself, no comorbidities, very low risk statistically. That doesn't mean flukes don't happen. You do hear about people like me going into the hospital and dying from this. It can happen. And I'm sure it could even happen with a vaccine, but your risk is lower. And at this point, seeing how many people have now gotten it and are safe tells me a lot. Tells me these vaccines are safe. And now we have one that's FDA approved. If that matters to you, I hope this can help you get over it. I still don't think Pfizer is the right choice. I got Moderna. I would recommend Moderna. So as far as the dosing, Moderna has like three times the mRNA in it. So you're going to get a lot stronger of response and it seems to stick around your system longer. Um, another thing is that the dosing is a little bit further apart with the Moderna. It's 28 days apart versus 21 days. Whether or not that makes any difference, I don't know. It just seems to do a little bit better. Nothing is perfect in this world, guys, and nothing is without consequence. A lot of times in medicine, it's a risk versus benefits kind of discussion that we have to have with ourselves. And then at this point, the risk versus benefits is tilting in the favor, in my opinion, of getting the vaccine versus not getting the vaccine. I just wanted to tell you guys my story in case this can help you guys make a decision one way or the other. If you guys have any questions for me, let me know down in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, if it's helped make your decision easier, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care.